Today, we're going to take a look at none other but the second best player of all time behind, obviously, Christopher Wood. Lionel Messi has picked up an inform for his brace against, I played Orlando, I'm pretty sure, and he looks pretty good. His first inform of the year, 91 rated, 1.4 million is what I picked him up for, which I feel like isn't actually that bad of a price to pay. For cheap, fast, and reliable coins, make sure to head on over to mmoexp.com and use code DAVIS at checkout for 5% off your order. He is five foot seven, of course. Low, low work rate has always been the big question mark about Messi's cards this year. Low, low work rates, you know, it's not ideal. I am someone that does think uh, custom tactics or player instructions over work rates. So if you have him on stay forward, then that can kind of, you know, overwrite the work rates a little bit. But no, there's no denying low attacking work rates as an attacker is not what you want. Four star, four star is fine. His pace isn't anything crazy. He's a lot slower than he used to be. His shooting is great. His passing and dribbling, I mean, it's Lionel Messi. This is exactly what you expect. His passing and dribbling is fantastic. Physical wise, 72 stamina is nothing crazy. Um, I feel like I'm kind of more inclined, specifically with his two playstyle pluses being technical and Travala, not the incisive pass as a playstyle plus. I feel like I'm actually more inclined to use him as a striker. And I think because he's got a more attacking type of playstyle uh, with that Travala, obviously you can use it with passes as well. And the Travala is not as good as it used to be. But I think along with the 72 stamina you'd rather have him as a striker like a stay forward striker um or a second striker maybe but i wouldn't really want to use him in the midfield do too much running with him because of his poor stamina and as i said if he had the incisive pass play style plus then i'd be a little bit more inclined to use him in that midfield role he's got the finish shot play style plus the dead ball tick attacker incisive pass uh quick step and obviously the technical and travala some very nice play styles like all of his play styles are good he's not got any of the average ones that people don't really care about all seven of his play styles are very nice with a hunter chemistry style he goes to what is that 90 pace he goes to um and about 92 93 shooting so suddenly with a hunter he looks fantastic and as i said we will use him as a striker up top in game but how this formation works in game ronaldinho my central cam who is stay forward kind of you know plays a one two so i feel like messi and dino will be in line lots of the time it's kind of like a a two striker if you will we got the wide players dino kind of stays forward and then you got Lionel messi as well who will be kind of playing a striker cam second strike striker all in one so that's kind of what the striker plays in this formation just try it out boys and let's see is he worth the 1.4 million coins is what he currently is I did forget to change messi's kit number to 10 so the fact he's a number nine is absolutely doing my head in now you see wins it back already go on Give that to Ronaldinho. That's exactly what I'm talking about, boys. Ronaldinho does miss it, but that's exactly what I'm talking about. My central cam kind of plays as a striker. Messi came deep. Dino made that run through, and that could have easily been an assist for Messi off the bat. We've got Messi here with a technical. Let's dribble it out. Messi. Oh, that's a beautiful ball to Kylian Mbappe. Can Mbappe go all the way? Can we get that finish through? We cannot. Mate, Messi could have easily had... It's not a penalty. I thought that was late, you know. Messi could have easily had two assists so far this game, but we just cannot finish. Go on, Messi with the touch. He's got the technical, the controlled, whatever you want to call it, the controlled sprint, the technical. Nonetheless, Messi has scored. That's one. It's a beautiful goal. My opponent was kind of freaking out on the box. He was going in for these tackles. We just had to be patient. It was a, it was a weak foot finish as well on that four-star weak foot. Beautiful finish. And that's 1-0. Messi scoring the first goal. He's not had much to do up until this point as well. So that's the first big thing he's actually had to do. He's got the Travala. He's got the Travala. Pre-patch that's going in. Pre-patch that is a goal, but obviously, what, a month ago? Might have been a few weeks ago, they nerfed the Travala, and it's just not been the same since, obviously. They've heavily nerfed it. You see to Mbappe, to Ronaldinho. That is beautiful. We get the finish. The Messi, Ronaldinho, the 2006-2007 Barcelona link up right there. Ronaldinho with the goal. Lionel Messi with the assist. We've still got it, bro. It's just like real life, man. He's definitely not the fastest anymore, but he always finds a way with the ball at his feet. He will always find a way to get out of tricky positions. I mean, that left stick dribbling with him. We do lose position, obviously, but that left stick dribbling with him is some of the best 
I have used in the game. I could just imagine. I've actually not used this team of the year. But I could imagine how good his team of year is. Look at that, bro. Look at it. Look at it. It's insane. It genuinely feels like Messi, which is really cool. He's like, what, 35, 36. But it's so cool that we actually have cards in game. And I, I think playstyles has a massive part to play in that this year. That, you know, Lionel Messi actually feels like Lionel Messi should feel. That is a classic Messi goal. The left stick dribbling, the dribbling all over the place, the ball glued to his feet. That's two goals and an assist in game number one for Lionel Messi. Hey, Messi steals it off him straight away. The step overs, come on. This could be insane if we actually score from this. Lionel Messi still got it. My opponent misses the tackle to Mbappe. Into Hullet. Sophia Smith get onside. Back to Hullet. The touch, the finish. Beautiful goal. Beautiful goal. Messi is stealing it from kickoff straight away. I mean, it's a good start. Can't ask for much of a better start, can we? Penalty. Penalty to Argentina. Do we take this with Messi? Yeah, I feel like we kind of have to take it with Messi. What is his penalty stats? 84 penalties. Why not, man? Why not? Let's go for a little bit of a stat pad session. Top left. Beautiful penalty. Messi stayed onside with the finish. Bang. Bro, just like real life, once again, you've got like three players surrounding Messi. Three games, four goals, and one assist for Lionel Messi. And look, I absolutely loved this card. He was very fun to use. And it actually felt like Lionel Messi, how he should do. I said it several times. The left stick dribbling with him is fantastic. Uh, Kim Stoll, you definitely will be going for a Hunter. 90 pace, 94 shooting, 91 passing, 95 dribbling. Uh, this is a fantastic card. Four star, four star is awesome. Now, I do want to say the low, low work rates. I mean, sometimes it was a little bit noticeable, the low attacking work rates. But if you do have him, um, if you play him as a striker, wherever you play him, if you have him as a stay forward, then it will kind of overwrite it a little bit. But that's not not to say that obviously Lolo isn't ideal. His body type is the Lionel Messi body type, which along with, you know, obviously his insane dribbling stats, his 92 agility, his 96 balance, 94 ball control, 97 in-game dribbling. Along with that five foot seven, small, lean, Lionel Messi type of body type, his left stick dribbling is just everything you expect it to be. You've got three, like you can have your opponent with three, four defenders on you at once. And hey, I guess that's realistic because after all, it is Lionel Messi. Now, if we are comparing him to his radioactive card, I do want to get rid of the Hunter Kim style here. How do I get rid of it? Here we go. Uh, when we do compare him to the radioactive, his stats are the exact same, except he's got two less physical, okay? Two less physical, um, but his radioactive only has one playstyle plus, being technical, whereas obviously his inform has two playstyle pluses, technical and Trevella. He is coming in at about 210,000 coins more than this radioactive, which, hey, I think it's fair, because this inform, despite being one rating less and a couple physical short, this inform is better than his radioactive just because of the extra play style plus they're both four star four star yeah they're both four star four star now i do think he will drop a little bit i feel like a fair price to pay for this messy card would be anywhere between 1 million and 1.3 million i think that's a great price to buy him at i brought him for 1.4 mil he's actually gone up a couple hundred k in the last hour which is awesome um but no i think between 1 and 1.3 mil is a is a fair price to pay yeah i'd assume he will probably be dropping a little bit throughout the next week when he is in packs but hey, he's very fun if you've got the coins if you can link him in which is probably one of the hardest things linking him in argentinian mls manager then you really just need uh five icons in your team is probably your best bet isn't it but no nonetheless boys hope you guys did enjoy this review it was a lot of fun and it's a big thumbs up from me i'll see you guys in the next one